video tutorial on calibration of the DBoss and a, a new way uh, that you can do it uh, that's pretty foolproof. Um, especially for rifle like 223 uh, because of the very, very narrow target you have. It's got to see that bullet. And it's pretty narrow and some folks have had a little trouble getting it eventually do, but this will show you a really quick way. So you follow the directions that you find on the website and you set everything up and you get a bullet in there and you use the little alignment tool, the calibration tool and you sit it on there and it's on there and you notice it's a little up okay so you adjust it and you get it nice and even you drop your alignment tool down your drop chute <laughs> You do it one handed. So, got the alignment tool set up according to the directions. It's flat, it's level, sitting on top of the bullet there. It's all nice and set. But then you go to test and it doesn't want to doesn't want to catch because the alignment may be slightly off. So, there's a real quick way to see if you're correctly aligned and the, the sensors are doing what they're supposed to do. One is seeing the case where it's supposed to and then it's looking to see if the bullet's there or not there. So, this is a, a cool mode, it only works for this, so don't think it'll work for anything else. So you can come over the, pro, the, uh, the control box, and this happens to be a Rev 3. This also works on the, uh, the Rev 2s. So the first thing you do, get your stop switch in hand, because what you're going to do is you're going to press the green and the yellow buttons at the same time. Okay, see so it goes out. Let the yellow one off, and then the green comes up, now you're in test mode, okay? So now what happens every time you hit the stop switch, you will see those numbers. Case range, bullet range, case range, bullet range. Now if the case is wrong, you won't get a bullet range. But what you see there is the case range is 16. It needs to be under 20. Um, and there's an update that's going to change that slightly because the new tool heads push things back a little further. Uh, so it'll it'll have to be under 25 instead of under 20 and then the bullet range is saying 44 45 somewhere in that range so anything more than 40 and the system says hey there's no bullet where it's supposed to be so if that is aligned correctly that's what you should see is under 20 and under 40 or excuse me exceeding 40 uh, on the bullet range and under 20 on the case range until the new one comes out and this is under 25 will work as well so if you want to make sure everything works just let that off for a second and we will put a regular one with a bullet where it should be and of course this has already been pushed down not just sitting in there um, so we can take a look again, Let's see how that's set up, and I push the button. See, it's not correctly aligned, so it's missing the tip, it's missing the bullet when you're up that high where it's sitting at right now, so it would miss and declare that there's a missing bullet and stop the machine. So very quickly, real easy. Go in here, do some slight adjustment, push it down a little bit, bring it oh, too far. And do it one-handed. Take a look. Nope, still too high. Set the phone right there. Pushed it around, pushed it down, and now what we see is case range uh, 13, 14. Bullet range is sub 40, so it's 37, 38, somewhere in there. And the case is between 13 and 15 as it gets the different uh, different measurements on it. So the one thing you do have to make sure is when you're, you think everything's right, take that whole tool head down and make sure it's going to miss <laughs> the, the sensor, so you don't try 
smashing into the sensor with the tool head. So now, if we were to throw one, let's take a put some locator pins back in. it's still aligned where that one will be missed and you can see it is aligned where that one will be missed because it's shooting over 40 so we can do a quick test and we'll stick it in there and uh, tool head down love the new tool heads by the way and uh, we'll do a reset on the box all right, diving back found, we're up and running. And uh, push auto. And she stops, no bullet. So that is a quick and dirty way uh, to make sure your alignment is dead on where it should be. Um, uh, that test mode you're in is, it only works on the diving back. None of the other sensors in the system use that test mode. It's just for diving back. So that you can align the diamond back real easy and get it where it needs to be. Especially when you're using 223, uh, which is the hardest one to align out of all of them. Uh, just because of the very, very narrow profile of the bullet. Especially some of these uh, these 55 grains and when you start to get into like the, the 60s, 70s. And the, uh, it gets a little bit sharper here in the tip. So it, it gives them a harder target to, for the sensor to, to pick up. So, uh, if there's any questions on how to do that, please just hit us up on the uh, Facebook page, um, and we can get back to you if you're if you're having any more difficulties trying to figure out how to do this. But as you can see, it's pretty simple. Uh, we made it as simple as possible uh, to align this thing, so you don't have to aim uh, funny little things across machines and get things to line up on opposite sides of machines. Uh, it's all right here in the sensor head, folks. It doesn't take anything else but this well that and it's a little interface box to talk to this to talk to that <laughs> to do all the magic that is an ammo bot uh, with the deboss installed